So let's talk about presets a little bit. I've got a radiator here and uh, I've got it configured just to draw a single uh, red circle. And uh, I'm using uh, shape A to generate that circle. And everything else is set to zero. So shape A is just a, a standard shape generator. Uh, it started life as a VCQO, but then it became so much more. Uh, for instance, uh, we've got a shape control that uh, gives us quite a variety of different shapes to work with. Um, we've got a warp control, which rotates the shape on one axis. We've got a manual rotation control, uh, which also has an oscillator built in. So we can add velocity in one direction or velocity in a different direction, which is super handy. Uh, we have a size control and we have a draw speed control. Okay. So, uh, let's build an abstract. So I'm gonna turn on Shape Generator 2, and then I'm gonna turn the size up on Shape Generator 2. And uh, we've got a nice pattern here. So uh, what we have is a harmonic between the speed of Shape A and Shape B, and by changing those speed ratios, we can get different patterns. Uh, we also have a sync function that uh, attempts to find uh, harmonic relationships automatically, which is really nice for doing live play because there's not so much seeking and not so much hash as you're looking for a harmonic. Um, so I'm gonna take some uh, influence from modulator A uh, which is basically an LFO. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, select, which tells the, the modulator that we're going to be routing a signal out of it to another control. And in this case, I'm going to use it to drive the size of shape A. In fact, I'm going to turn off shape B so it's easier to see. Okay. Now I'm going to turn the speed up and the level up and level is the uh, modulation amplitude coming out of the LFO. And then I'm um, also changing the amount of influence that the LFO has on the shape. And now I'm going to take the speed of the modulation down a little bit. Um, we have a, a shift button here, which uh, in this mode selects between coarse and fine uh, for the controls. So we have uh, quite a lot of granularity. That seems pretty reasonable. And the nice thing is the output of these LFOs can be routed to multiple things. So we can say, uh, while we're controlling the size of shape A, uh, I also want to use it to control the blue channel from the color modulation controls. Okay, so we've got that going. Let's turn uh, shape B back on. And we've got a, a nice little abstract. And you know, we can do things like um, output a square from shape B and a circle from shape A or, you know, vice versa and some other nice things. But let's use this as our basic abstract example. And let's now make a preset. So we've got an abstract we like. All we have to do is hit the store button and then hit the, uh, the bank number. And that abstract is now saved. So we can go back to our system default of this red circle. And then we can hit, you can see there's a light blinking here showing you that we're running this preset and then we can bop over to the preset that we just saved, and we're back to exactly where we were. 
and again, our light's blinking to show you that this is the preset that's playing. So uh, presets are just digital patches that uh, encompass every control on the board. So for live play, you know, it's really easy to start hitting a bunch of presets and then uh, modulating things to the music based on the speed controls here and the speed controls here.